Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup in our bid to win with a new species, the Deep Elf. Neo Brew, good evening. How are you all doing? Wonderful to see you. So... What ended up happening was we finally got the win um, with the background that we were attempting last week, which I believe, or last time, which I believe was a kobold. No, 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 it wasn't. It was, oh, something even more disastrous. Let me actually figure out... Um, what what we were last time. Let me look at uh, this. No, not that. Um. Mm -mm -mm. Here we go. What were we? We weren't Hillark, Minotaur. No, no, no. No, we weren't that. Draconian, no. We might have been a kobold. Oh no, that's right. It was a Tengu. We already had a victory with a kobold, and we finally got one with a Tengu as well. And so now we're moving down here for a deep elf. You're just chilling, doing yak track, and doing house paperwork. Yep, that sounds about right, Brew. I tell you what. <laughs> hey, hey. Saint, what is up? Good evening. I remember doing house stuff, and it was like... When you're signing the final paperwork for the home... It was the most times I'd ever signed my name. It was like 17 different signatures were required on that document. No joke. Alright, so... We then are doing a deep elf, and this is a caster... Uh, so we started, I believe, as a conjurer. Yep, we did. And we decided to worship Rue. Why I decided to worship um, Rue, I I don't know. But I do love Rue. You had to do 38 for the loan commitment, Rue. That is hilarious. That's about, I mean, that is what you are signing yourself away in every possible facet. It's unreal. There is, there's no backing out of it. But it's a good feeling when it's all done. Okay. So, let me look at my spells. And, um... So, we're 7th level with this Deep Elf, and we can cast Magic Dart, Searing Ray, Mephitic Cloud, and, um... It looks like we picked up... Olgreb's Toxic Radiance and Bolt of Magma, which is pretty tremendous. So we've got some great spells here. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. The military, that's a good one, too. They'll definitely make you sign your name. A hundred signatures between the both of them. Sounds about right. Okay, so I don't have any abilities yet. And Rue hasn't asked me to make a sacrifice. We're still very early. But let's see what we can do. We're on um, Dungeon 4, so we're not that deep. But I haven't played in a couple weeks because uh, I had company, and then I played Caves of Cud for a week, so... This character is rather new. Oh, here we go. Rue believes you are ready to make a new sacrifice. Let's see how this goes. This is always pretty funny. Okay, um, so we can make a sacrifice. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I don't think we can do no potion heal. I'm not ready for that. Let's see what these are. A love sacrifice means 
causing all creatures to become hostile, even those created by you. <laughs> oh, Rue, I love it. I sacrifice love. Monsters that are spell residue and which do not act independently, such as orbs of destruction and spectral weapons, are the only things which can remain friendly. If you make this sacrifice, your powers granted by Rue will become stronger in proportion to the value of the sacrifice and you may gain new powers as well. So if you want to get powers with Rue, you have to make really hilarious sacrifices like this one. This is actually, I don't plan on be, being a summoner at all. So this is actually not that bad. This is not something that terrifies me. Um, it's something where it says it's going to give me one pip of piety after sacrifice, and, and it's a major sacrifice. So we'll we'll start to move up on Rue's powers. The only thing I would have to do if I decided to go with this was basically say, I don't want to read a scroll of summoning. And, and um, the wand that like charms people to be on your side would also be useless but other than that this isn't really that bad what about durability what's this all about um, sacrifice durability preventing you from having any ranks in the armor skill oh this sacrifice is worth more if you cannot train dodging wow I mean, would I rather not be able to have any friendly creatures, or would I rather not be able to train armor? I mean, these are unreal. It's, that's Rue. That's classic Rue. And that's one of the reasons I just love Dungeon Crawl, is the religions are so funny, are so uh, intense... Let me just remind myself on my religion really quickly, and... Hey! Snack, what is up, my friend? Yeah, I'm taking a... I decided, like, um... Hey, what's up, Dream? How's it going? Um, you vote armor. I'm a deep elf with the inability to wear more than a wet towel. I mean, you're, you're right about that, to be honest. It's, it's a tough call. I mean, honestly, I'm going to be a caster for the entire game. And wearing anything beyond ringmail is probably, like, maybe some dragon scales is probably a pipe dream. So I think you're right on with... That. Um... So, Snack, they're both worth one pip of piety, both sacrifice, and they're both major sacrifices. This is my first sacrifice. Oh, it, it's be I haven't trained any armor. I didn't realize that. Yeah, I mean, I think you're right. I don't... I could get a set of good robes, too, and be fine, you know, just casting from range. Let me look at this. Um, so, Rue doesn't give you anything... summons allies for you so love isn't just inherently bad so i could either do love or durability i'm not going to do purity i have i hate not being able to drink potions to heal yourself it's just too i i'm not the kind of player that can work around that um I, so it's either durability or love and then if i look at my um 
Right, that's what I was saying, Snacks. So, like, Scroll of Summoning and um, the the wand that uh, charms people no longer would work, uh, nor would um, Box of Beasts, stuff like that. Yeah, Phantom Mirror. Phantom Mirror we shouldn't have to worry about too much. I don't find myself... I mean... So if I look at my... Um, my skills, armor is at zero. I haven't trained it at all. But my aptitude is, is minus two. I mean, it's garbage. I'll tell you what. Yeah, it says... I think you're probably... Actually, you're definitely right about that, Snack. It's the only thing it says it doesn't work on is Orba Destruction. Um, and, uh... Oh, another spell effect. That's, like, I'm sure Lightning Rod or whatever. Um... Lightning Spire. But... I honestly think Armor's the way to go. I, I was really leaning love at the beginning, but I think you guys have talked me into going um, durability. Now, the question is this. Do you guys think then, because I'm not, I haven't played Rue in a while, but um, if I wanted to go durability, should I train my armor skill up before I do it to get more piety, or is that with my minus two just kind of negligible <laughs> that would be dream that would be like game over right there because I love lightning spire oh okay snack all right that makes sense all right let's just do it then um I'm gonna go ahead and do this yes I do you now exude an aura of power that intimidates your foes and again, this is why Dungeon Crawl is so funny. I am intimidating my foes. I'm a magician in a mustard-colored robe with a horned helmet. Yeah, you're right. My strength is so bad. You need like 10 skill for the bonus stat. Dream. Okay, well then, yeah, we're never going to make it there with minus two aptitude. That's just not happening. And the other thing about it is, um, yeah, you're right. I mean, as a deep elf conjurer, you're basically the opposite of a minotaur berserker with strength and intelligence. It's so bad. It's so bad. I'm going to be wearing some paper. Yeah, like you said, Dream, the wet towel. All right, well, let's go. Hey, there's a little shop here. Fairy Dragon would be fantastic. Ooh. There, so there's an antique armor shop. Ha ha ha. But there's also a staff right there. That could be really good. All right. Um, so. I don't particularly like what I see. <laughs> it's a lot of undead and this imp. That would be something, Snack. Let's see if it's in that shop. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and um, cast Magic Dart up here. And then I'm going to cast um, Searing Ray on the Imp. All right, he's dead. And I'm going to go upstairs. The undead dudes, those guys won't follow me. Um... And I'm going to try a different staircase. Okay, this is better. I'm going to Searing Ray. And then we're just going to maintain the ray. And... Oh, I thought the ray would adjust to uh, hit the new target. That was too greedy, I guess. Okay, we got him. Fantastic. 
So the only way to get Fairy Dragon Armor in the whole game is from killing the Enchantress? Okay. Well, touche. <laughs> that would make sense, right, with a Felid? All right, let's see what we got. Well, there's the Hat of the Alchemist, but it's minus two. I mean, that's quite a hat. That's like resist everything. All right, so we'll put that on the shopping list. Um, yeah, you're right. It is a bad set it and forget it. I mean, like, my armor class is god-awful. There's a bunch of good stuff here. I could buy this glowing rub. This rub. This glowing robe right out. Let me see what my robe is at the moment. It's a plus one robe. So... If that robe in there had, um, yeah, I think you're right, because it's already plus one. If it had a brand on it, maybe. Oh, wait a minute. Snack, didn't you tell me that glowing, that there was like an, an adjective or a way to interpret whether or not an item would have a brand or a certain range of plus, or am I not thinking about that right? I know, wouldn't that be nice, Dream? Or even, like, Will, or something like that, or Fire Resistance. There's a lot of good things it could have. But yeah, let's get the gloves first, because I don't have anything else. I don't have gloves, so it would be a bigger gain. So let's get this money. Um, and we're almost ready to buy the gloves. What kind of staff is this? Oh, it's a Staff of Death. Well... That's actually not great for us. I don't have um, any fantastic necromancy stuff. Oh, right, right, right. Wow. Oh, we got a whole slew of enemies over here. And killed it. Okay, let's go up and rest. It's a huge boost. It could save my 36 hit point life. Take that, Adder. Um, man. Uh, what am I training again? Honestly, you know, if I look at this... It, is poison magic really what's keeping me from casting... Um, hey, Zev, what's up, my friend? Toxic Radiance with... Not really. I mean, it's more just the fact that it's, it's a high-level spell, right? That's causing it to be a red fail rate. Like, 5% fail chance is pretty low... But the reason it's it's red is because it's 4th level and I'm only 7th level. Insufficient shield skill? Oh, that could be actually the case. Maybe you're right. Maybe let's bump up our shield work then. That's the thing. The sacrifice that I made said nothing about shield. Ring of Flight. Eh. Ooh, Poisonous Vapors. Hello. I'll take that all day long. Give it to me. Ooh, Enchant Armor. Beautiful. Oh, it's, it's just based on your hit dice or your hit points? Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, Dream, that's why I just don't like casting stuff with a red danger level, because I don't want magical contamination or anything too severe. Ugh. 
Oh. All right. Well, funny bit of this. God, that's awful, Dream. All right. Um, let me just look at... Are you immune to poison? You're resistant. All right. So really, Toxic Radiance wouldn't would only hit the Hound. Not very good. I think what I want to do is just uh, Searing Ray that thing. Hey, there's level 8. Ooh, and we got an Intelligence point. That's actually humongous. Yep. Got Toxic Radiance down to 4% yellow. And Bolt of Magma. hey -o. It's going to take a while. Man, this Water Moccasin Skeleton is no joke. It's a sturdy... Water Moccasin Skeleton. Alright, we got our shield up to level 1. And yep, you're right about that, Snack. Look at that. Shield to 1, and instantly... Toxic Radiance goes down to 3% from 4. Alright, well, we're just about... Free casting... Not free casting, but... Oh, God. It's a bad placement. That guy doesn't see us. I wonder what he got confused by... Is it because of Rue? Did Rue do that to this dude? Did I intimidate this guy? He hasn't noticed me? <laughs> I guess I do have two pips of stealth. He's blind. Alright. Well, speaking of confusion... The ogre ponders the situation. Holy smokes, that must be a serious situation there. Alright, he's almost dead. Let's just searing ray the guy. Oh, okay, he's dead. And this looks like a pretty good toxic radiance situation. And we can just searing ray like that. Pretty good. Blowing stuff up. Conjurer. That's funny. What does he does he have a moment of sanity? Man, this is a a pretty hefty vault full of enemies. I like it. Poison vapors is just such a fancy fantastic spell. I'm really happy to have found that. If you confuse him or worship Zom, his dialogue changes. Oh, he quotes from classic literature, so he's actually sane. A good dude if you can speak crazy. That makes sense. I like that. Now, looking at where I'm at, Toxic Radiance is at 2% yellow fail. I don't think I need to train Poison anymore. Poison Vapors, Mephitic Cloud, I'm crushing all of that. So I think I can turn off Poison Magic um, and focus on... Let's do Fire Magic a bit for Bolt of Magma. Try to get Bolt of Magma online for some single target ownage. Okay, we have enough for those gloves, by the way. That, all that means is I'll maybe poison myself. That's not too bad at all. The other thing is... Searing Ray is... Arguably enough... Single target damage for quite a while. Alright, let's buy these. Yes. I forgot I had these plus seven Ice Dragon scales of disappointment. How funny is this? I don't think I'll ever be able to wear these, right? Oh, Searing Ray is br brutally strong. It's like... It's... Way too powerful. It owns... Like... Up to Dungeon 10, at least. You know, you're, you're just crushing everything. Plus two gloves. How's that? I forgot I had these. And... 
the encumbrance rating of 11, like, I don't think I'll ever be able to wear these without serious strength, right? God, they're good, though. I, I would need to balance out that resist fire. I don't think I could cast my spells, though. Plus four intelligence isn't bad. I don't know. Eh, whatever. It's not. I do have a ring of wizardry on, though. This is why I'm casting spells so well. Okay, so let's go ahead and read this scroll. It's magic mapping. Fantastic. And do I want to enchant anything? I could enchant my helmet. I don't really want to enchant the robe when um, this other robe might be good. Could be could have a brand on it, you know. All right. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Hilarious. I'm telling you. Sarah would add a lot to this stream, Saint. Ratings would go through the roof. So this guy has a plus two whip of electrocution. That's scary. But I think Toxic Radiance and Mephitic Cloud might do enough right here. Yeah, they all died. They didn't make it. Take her off mute. We'd be changing the, the name of the game pretty quickly. Oh, it's a it's a null party. Hey, hey Phil, what is up, my friend? How you doing? I tell you what, Phil. Um, again, thank you so much for the book. I started reading it. I was talking to uh, Fading at the Edges or Saint the other day about it. Yesterday, actually. And it is fantastic. It's such a good book. It's very difficult to read. Um, but I, I appreciate the challenge. And it's great. Poison this guy a bunch, and then he's dead. Fire magic level one. Let's see. 21% on Bolt of Magma. It's going to be a while. It is a great book. You know what's cool about it, too? Um, on the, the cover of the paperback of the book, it has a quote... Um, from Neil Gaiman and Neil Gaiman says it's the best science fiction book of the last century that's a pretty good compliment from an amazing author in his own right 